What's up, everybody? It's J Mac, and welcome to Bigfoot Input. I want to take a quick second to just apologize for our brief leave. Um, jobs are changing, homes are changing. Change is the only constant in life, but that doesn't make it any easier. So, welcome back, and we appreciate all of our supporters and followers on all of our different platforms: YouTube, uh, you know, YouTube, Facebook, Patreon. Uh, You guys already know, so uh, thanks for listening, and we will be doing a live show tomorrow night, so join us at 8.30, I'll post about that later, but as for now, let's dive into some new pictures. Alright guys, this picture is really intriguing, Um, I'm not going to rule out like a statue, but it doesn't look like a cardboard cutout, it looks 3D. It's interesting the way that the sun is obscuring the picture um, with the, you know, the rays that are coming down, kind of blocking the creature's face. I mean, you know, if these creatures are that intelligent, is that by design? I don't know. That's kind of a speculation. Um, I'd have to say it's a cool picture and it looks real to me. And I would say that this is a really good shot of a Bigfoot And I hope that the person that took the picture is okay, because that's really up close and personal. Alright guys, here's another one. Um, Man, I don't know, it almost looks a little too good to be true, but there's no reason to really rule this picture out. Other than, why is it purple? Uh, It looks like it had either some weird exposure, which I don't think that's common with digital cameras, or someone put this in a filter and made it look that way um i don't see a cone-shaped head the face you know it's a face it's not maybe not typical bigfoot you know that that are reported but i don't think you could rule this one out i still just have some concerns about why it appears the way it does so we'll just have to leave that one with that um I'd, i'd say you know it's plausible but i don't really I don't have an explanation for the color filtration on that picture. I have no backstory on this picture at all. All I can say is that there is a really creepy face kind of just hidden in the shadows there in what might be a rock formation it looks like. Maybe some sort of cave. Maybe this is a lookout. You know, they can come up to the spot and see what's going on above ground. Um, all that seems totally realistic to me. As most of you know, I do believe that Bigfoot are subterranean creatures. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think that this guy is looking out of his house to see what's going on and why this person with a camera is in his front yard. So I don't know exactly what's going on here. Diffuse and bump map filters. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's diffuse and bump map filter. I don't know. But they obviously have a picture of something here. It looks like two kind of humanoid faces, a larger one and a baby one. And then there's a lot of pareidolia surrounding it. So I wouldn't go any further than the two faces right in the middle. Um, Now, what are they faces of? I don't know. They're just sort of abstract gray faces but you can clearly see the eye sockets nose mouth uh the mouth even protrudes a little bit on the older one maybe some type of you know ape feature um you might even be able to exaggerate and say that you see a cone-shaped head there but i'm not sure interesting picture nonetheless um if i'm not mistaken this picture was taken from a video about the Yeti, and I think um, Dr. Meldrum was largely involved. I can't remember the name of the film, but I believe that Yeti is in the name. It's kind of an older film, and it was one of the first films to talk about the skull and hand that was supposedly taken from a Yeti that belonged to the Tibetan monks, which was then DNA tested and then stolen, and I don't know, there was a whole whole story there that i won't get into tonight but yeah i believe this was taken from that video it's a solid picture 
I mean, this guy is going straight up a mountain, you know, a uh, cliff facing. It, it checks all the boxes as being a Sasquatch or, or Yeti, but, you know, we have no way of proving, you know, yes or no on that one. <clears throat> so I have my reservations about this. It, it looks like a wooden statue. Like, it almost looks like a wooden statue with snow on it. You know, and, and I don't know which angle the picture's being taken from, but uh, I just don't have any reason to believe that this is real. Even if you look at the shoulder there, the fur, it just looks like tree bark. Um, there's no fur there, no hair rather. Um, and the face just looks like it's been carved out, carved out of a piece of wood. So I almost want to say I've seen this statue before, but I can't tell you where. But I think that's what we're going to have to go with, is that this is a snow-covered statue. Alright, folks, let's see. This is a kind of hulking, dark figure in the trees. And I believe this is what they call a rock. Yeah, it's kind of a large rock, but like you can see on the bottom there, you can see the scales of the rock where fur should be so that's a rock this on the other hand is a foot and i almost said it was a little foot but i have no way of truly knowing the size it just gives me the impression that it's a little foot like a juvenile foot maybe and it was supposedly caught on a trail cam uh spy net spy spy point uh, trail cam about 3 a.m. on 2018. Now, I can make any any picture look like it was caught on um, you know a trail cam, just black and white, and add some you know little thing at the bottom there, and you're in business. But that doesn't mean that this isn't real, okay? And I can't imagine what else other than a Bigfoot would be leaving this type of picture on a trail cam in the middle of the night. I mean. You know, I've, I've even, even monkey feet don't look like this. So this is a pretty cool shot. Uh, I gotta say that it's probably legit. All right, um, this is one of those weird pictures that doesn't really give you anything definitive. Unfortunately, it just leaves you with more questions than answers. I am gonna say that this is most likely some sort of tree. I don't like the word stump, but that really is what's going on here. Like basically like a part of a tree that's no longer alive. Um, it hasn't been cut by humans. It's just sort of maybe fallen over or it's part of a root structure. Something, something to that effect. I don't think this is a Sasquatch, although, you know, it could be, but I just don't think it is. Um, there's enough for me to look at this and, and call it suspect and be like, nah, that's just a natural formation and not a Sasquatch. But if you look at the top there, it almost looks like if it is a Sasquatch, it looks like he has a Mohawk. So I don't think they have clippers. Maybe I'm wrong. So this is so fake. It's laughable, right? Are, are we all on the same page with this picture? I mean, I've seen it around the, like the internet. It's been around a few times. It just, that little guy there, it, it looks either like a plastic doll or like a little man in a suit. And the, and the deer, those seem real. So either it's photoshopped in, uh, this picture split somehow, or they caught the moment that these deer realized this, this guy was there and they snapped some pictures of it. But I think it's more uh, likely to think that this is photoshopped in. Um, there's I, I, there's no way this is real. I'm sorry. I, I can't even I can't even entertain that idea. So uh, there's a lot of hoaxes out there, guys. A lot of people that just have too much time on their hands. So let's just be vigilant. Yeah. So I couldn't find too much about this, although I found this video on TikTok. It's uh. Jeremy Jasper Hinson, I give him his due, and I don't know where he got the, the pictures, uh, but um, the only thing that I find a little impressive about this is that the, the creature on the left, it has a visible posterior. 
you can see the what we'll call cheeks of the posterior and that that speaks volumes to me because normally when you see suits of these creatures they're poorly made because they have no genitalia they have no physical you know normal physical things that you would expect from a creature like this but just him having a set of butt cheeks says something about this uh, although i don't know what and i think here's a closer look at this guy <coughs> yeah again a little nothing is definitive here um it just looks like he's reaching down into the creek for something a fish maybe maybe this is real i don't know if it is this person that filmed it must have a ongoing relationship with this creature for it to trust it him or her uh so closely with a camera which is really unheard of usually it's just a chance happening so i don't know i'd like to know more about this if anybody knows it's very interesting but that is all i have for you okay uh, this was taken from one of our bigfoot groups if i'm not mistaken this is supposed to be a dog man and it is a typical picture of a dog man whereas there is no face no definitive shape uh, nothing that suggests that it's a dog man uh, there's just nothing you know it's just it could be anything it could be a a stump it could be a rock it could be a guy in makeup it's just so uh unclear what it really is that to say that it's a dog man well i guess you had to be there i've seen this picture a lot on the internet and i'm going to tell you what bothers me right off the bat is the tapetum lucidum um the eye shine is not correct. Look at the deer. He has this huge round eye shine, misshapen round, and it doesn't fit his eye socket. You know, I guess maybe if he just got scared at the moment, his eyes went large. That's possible. But even this creature behind it, the eye shape is strange. I've, I'm not comfortable with it. And the face on this creature kind of looks apish, like maybe a little too apish. So I don't know what's going on. Also, it kind of masquerades to be a trail cam, but there's no definitive markings on it. It's just black and white. Why is it black and white? You know, what cameras take black and white pictures anymore? I don't know. There's a few things that just sit wrong with me on this picture. This is a cave. And probably nothing more than a cave. It looks like there's some sort of maybe like a cactus or a tree up there on the left. And then there's a cave with some little rock formations near the front of it there. Um, I think that whoever drew the arrows on this thing is really stretching uh, to try to find something that isn't there. So there's a group on Facebook called Bigfoot Believers and Other Creatures, and it's ran by a guy named Daryl Denton. And if you're not part of this group, it is one of the largest, uh, fastest growing quality groups that there is. Um, you're going to see a lot of stuff you've never seen before. Uh, there's a lot of quality members. I mean, MK Davis, Lyle Blackburn, you know, you name it, uh, Kathy Westerman's in there. There's a lot of big names in there of, uh, you know, of, of good researchers. So it's a great group and it's not my group, but I am a part of it. And, and so please go check it out. Join their awesome group. So this guy, his name is Snuffy Dyer. He put out these set of pictures the other day and I, I kind of just perused and I, dismiss them kind of quickly because i didn't see anything and then he posted a blown up version of this particular picture which is it's slightly cropped here but um all we did is we t i started to see this creature emerge right so we took the picture put it into a photo editor uh we you know kind of brought out some of the highs and dropped the lows and changed the color a little bit so we could see the features better 
And look at this creature emerge. I mean, you know, you've got the eye, at least one eye you can see. I can see a bridge of a nose and another eye, but then there's the nose and there's some sort of jowl and teeth. I mean, it looks like sharp teeth. Like it almost looks like a dog type creature. Like, I don't know, like, again, like a gremlin. Um, I don't know what this creature is. I think it's a cool picture. Um, you know, is it possible that it's pareidolia? Well, this is a pretty far stretch to be pareidolia, if I'm honest. I mean, I gotta, I gotta say that I, I feel that there's something here. And I'll tell you this, what's surrounding the creature is a rock formation. So to me, that's even cooler. Maybe it's something underground, wherever this guy lives. We don't know. I don't know. Very neat. And thank you to him for sharing it. So moving on so this one i believe this came out of kathy westerman's group uh, bigfoot world a uh, very good group kathy's doing some revolutionary uh, you know research in the world um this woman claims that there is a juvenile bigfoot or i would imagine where we live it's more likely a skunk ape but juvenile under her stairs and i thought well come on you know like under your stairs and so then i blew it up a little bit and, and sure enough it looks like there's a face right there under the stairs and you know i can't tell what a face of what but it doesn't necessarily look like a human in my opinion you know so it's hard for me to tell exactly what this is but i believe she had some stories to go along with it and she herself is you know convinced that it's it's you know it's a sasquatch so um pretty cool picture uh i don't know i thought i had to share it with you guys so this one just came up um uh, my guy billy from florida bigfoot if you haven't seen his channel again he's out in the woods doing some crazy stuff with with a tribe of sasquatch uh or skunk apes and uh he's really got some interesting uh stories to tell but he has his own channel on youtube plus a group on facebook florida bigfoot but he posted this one this morning um i find it interesting i don't it's not his picture first of all let me just say that it's from someone else he reposted it but it's an interesting picture i don't know i mean you know it's cool i, I don't know if it's a sasquatch or if it isn't but you know if you uh look at the legs i mean it's got like some big legs there with a big hulking torso it doesn't look like a tree or a brush to me um i'd have to say it's probably some sort of creature so yeah really interesting picture last picture guys this is bigfoot world kathy westerman aimed to frame coming in clutch once again uh down in the green swamp with some thermo uh camera uh footage of this guy peeking out between the fork of a tree you got the nice like head eye shape nose uh mouth it appears to be open like an open mouth not sure why but maybe he was speaking or just breathing quietly but either way a uh, very interesting photo this is one of many that they that group comes up with sometimes the stuff that they have on film you're not even sure that it's bigfoot but it's something and it's here in the swamps of Central Florida in the Ocala National Forest. Very cool uh, picture here. If you have not joined Bigfoot World on Facebook, it, you should. It's a private group now. Go and uh, join that group because if you're not, you're missing out on some great stuff. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me. And I appreciate you guys joining us once again. Uh, tomorrow night, that is Friday 217 at 8 30 p.m we will be going bigfoot input live so please join us we're going to talk about whatever you guys want to talk about uh cryptid related of course and uh and i'm excited and again we appreciate all your support and we will see you guys tomorrow night again 8 30 j mac out